Hi friends, uh, this is Naveen again with another technical update. Uh, today we will be knowing uh, how to secure your computer. Uh, see, most of us, uh, most of us people uh, will be investing uh, much amount of money on internet security softwares and all. Of course, even though uh, internet security uh, softwares are installed, uh, see day by day the uh, hacking attempts or malware are uh, generating every day so for the for such kind of problems see most of the times these kind of uh, malwares and all these uh, things come uh, and uh, virus and all these things come upon uh, the softwares which we are downloading through internet and installing see we, we don't know what is behind the uh, software we just install and use it but in background there will be many things running uh, in hidden mode and at the same time while browsing the uh, internet also if we click on some links uh, some scripts will be running in, uh, in almost uh, nowadays in almost every website some scripts are running in the background uh, we even don't know but uh, when we click on the link the uh, uh, link will be executed and it will be directed to the desc uh, designated page uh, but we don't know at the same time some background scripts are running uh, background scripts are running so and in some websites uh, there will be cookies and some uh, website there will be uh, some people uh, even install some software in our pc even while browsing uh, so to get secure from all this kind of uh, uh, problems uh, we have to use uh, something more powerful see today i'm uh, i'm uh, i wish to say that we have a software called sandboxy see this is a uh, software page this is a software sandboxy.com what it use is this it uh, to simply say uh, it was a virtual it creates as a virtual environment for our browser and for our uh, uh, applications which we are installing or which we are running virtual see sandbox uh, um, isolates which prevents them from making permanent changes to other programs and data it secures us once we close this uh, sandbox see, all the modifications made by the application or the browser will be restored and it will not uh, allow any changes and see these are the uh, benefits of uh, sandbox secure web browsing enhance privacy secure your email windows chase line and uh, most of the times uh, see we will be installing softwares for a one time use and uh, uh, we will ignore the software we will never uh, try to uninstall the uh, software and we are so busy uh, to do that so even in such cases if you feel that your, uh, your software is for single time use if you install this software through sandboxy it uh, installs the um, software virtually and uh, you can do all your work uh, but once you close uh, the installations uh, the, you can't see the installation of the uh, software installed the software because it was run in a virtual platform uh, there will be no software in your operating system as of now I'm using windows side operating system and see these are the uh, Certificates given to the software from the various websites. See, download if I go through the download. I already downloaded the sandbox software with 3.76 is the version latest. And if you want to buy this software, yes, you can buy it. But uh, not necessary to buy uh, the software because I'm using it. Uh, no, there is a, not a big change between the uh, purchase and non purchase, and the software I have, don't have any issues as far as I know. 
see once uh, downloading and installing the software I already installed the software so this is the software and this is the file the file size of the software was uh, just 2.44 MB very small see it has greater sandbox web browser also uh, if we click on the sandbox server, see see if you see through the, the line yellow border line means it was uh, running the browser and virtual so from now on if you browse any kind of uh, website uh, it's a uh, virus or uh, any kind of uh, uh, website uh, um, we can use everything as usual but once if we close that no cookies no uh, no scripts run by the website or nothing will be said even if you download a file uh, and if you did not recover the file uh, see i will show you how to recover that file but uh, first of all let me tell you about the browsing uh, if you did not recover the file uh, it will be deleted also in the destina destination folder uh, see uh, for example if i say once again sandboxy uh, first of all i'm deleting this here again i'm uh, see it is a uh, download inside and it was given this sandbox install.exe see after downloading if you feel that the file was 100% safe and secure you can uh, recover to the uh, you can click this option record to same folder or record to any folder means it will give us an option uh, to which the file should be transferred if you don't uh, if you are not sure and if you don't want that application uh, anymore just close this and uh, and if you once you close this see my download location was on desktop but if you close this that uh, sandbox -y, setup file was not there it is all a uh, totally virtual it gives us a virtual platform and in the same way uh, see if you want to uh, after installing this sandbox application control was here if you click it like this sandbox chrome or something i created this we can create as much as we want see if you want to run sandbox in web browser email reader or any program or from start menu okay for for um, okay uh, i will show you um one thing see all the dot exe it was a screen recording software see i'm running the software in sandbox default sandbox run as administrator must be click it see it was running in virtual platform if you go through this and uh, resource access monitor see uh, everything every changes made, uh, made by the software installation will be shown here which which files uh, what are the files it was accessing and all those things will be shown here Here yeah, top programs I am mentioning something I seek to show you. See, these are these are all the files uh, which is being accessed by the installation of this software. In this way, if you feel anything, you can monitor uh, the files, files, and uh, you can monitor the files which is. So, uh, it's all up to you. If you can monitor these, uh, all these uh, modifications made by the software, if you feel any suspicious, and uh, yes, uh, after clicking finishing click, see. If once you close, once you close the uh, that if you once you close that finish button, now it means 
the total report of the program will be here you can copy the contents to your clipboard must copy the contents and you can paste it in the notepad and you, uh, you can check at the time see in this way you can install the softwares and monitor what are the changes it was being and you can use uh, the web browsers any web browser and uh, you can keep your uh, system safe and secure with the with this application uh, and at the same time you can run the pre-installed already installed applications also in the um, sandboxing mode oh uh, see if you, uh, i will show you that also run from star start you know so this is programs uh, i'm saying see this is cleaner i'm cleaning so, see you can run this CC cleaner it was all the made modifications made by the CC cleaner will be uh, under undoed once it was closed like this you can use the for each and every application you can use the sandbox uh, control it supports almost all the uh, softwares uh, and browsers so see if you come to uh, this Uh, settings and all these are nothing uh, such as important everything will be transparent here uh, but what you have to know uh, do this is that uh, if you use uh, if you install anything uh, with the help of uh, sandbox or some uh, it creates a, it occupies some space it occupies some space uh, to record that space just you click on the uh, delete contents if you click on the explore contents <coughs> see the see previously i used the chrome and it was showing that and I, in this uh, box uh, see, it was using what are the things uh, user uh, all data will be here so simply just uh, those are all the uh, things where uh, so it's uh, just uh, see sandbox he has to pack to mb of this space and it had created 274 files and 56 folders and 156 mb bytes of this space just click on delete contents it is enough so it has created 11 delete files so uh, so this is a one of the best application to secure your com computer I uh, hope you enjoyed this video uh, if you have any doubts please reply to this video as a comment i will be assisting you up to my knowledge thanks for watching the video um, bye